Once again, a snappy power break. Fourth obstacle, the balancing. It is the ability to maintain bodily equilibrium by making a turn on a tight space, taking everything into consideration. Your weight, the bike, the turn, and the space. Ladies and gentlemen, the snappiest MPD ramp. The ramp is 12 feet in length with a slope and a stairs. It has a 35 degree slope with 16 inches of width. Once again, a round of applause for a snappiest ramp. This width is a tight space when you're on top of a bicycle. Once again, our snappiest MPD ramp. When performing a ramp, it takes a fair time to maneuver in this platform. You need to overcome your feel of falling body of or first fist on the ground to cross this ramp smooth. Once again, the snappiest and finest ramp.
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our demonstration. We shall now proceed with the scenario. For the first scenario, a man suddenly grabs the shoulder bag of a lady. Walking on our way home, he immediately runs away after getting the bag. The victim rushed to get some help from the nearby bike patrol. <laughs> As a result, the vice patrollers initially respond while the victim described the point and the location where the suspect goes. As you can see, our bike patrollers successfully arrested the suspect, was able to inform him of his Miranda rights, and will be brought to the nearest police station for proper disposition. Ladies and gentlemen, as a successful case scenario. For the second scenario, a drunken man is shouting on top of his voice, challenging every passersby to be doing it, thereby creating trouble in the area. On this scenario, we invite my shoulders we we'll make use of their bicycle as a shield. Here comes our bike patrollers, evaluating the area. As you can see, our bike patroller use their bicycle as means of self-defense and as a weapon for those who refuse arrest. Viewing from here on the left side is the defensive aspect, while on the right side is our bike patroller use the bicycle as a weapon. Once again, notifying the suspect of his Miranda doctrine during arrest is a basic for every police officer. Once again, a successful case scenario number two. For the third scenario, a drunken man holding a knife, shouting on top of his voice, challenging other passers by his way to thereby creating trouble in the area. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, our bike controller drew his bike in order to divert the focus of the suspect from the police officers to the speeding bike towards him and disarm him for that purpose. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the third and last successful case scenario. From here, the Chief Tourist Police Unit will render the report that the capability demonstration has been concluded. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends the capability demonstration. Mabuhay ang lungsod ng Manila. This is your Manila Police District, your Manila's finest. Thank you very much and mabuhay. Galing ng mga demonstration nila dito mga kapatay. Maganda po sa damo sa karag katrabaho kami na exercise na rin po para po sa mga goodwill po ng mga polisan na rin. Ano po yung malaking may katulong ng bagong bike lane? Ito na yung bagong equipment na hindi na motor yung hawak nyo. Ito sa display nila yung pasukin yung mamalimit. Kinita yung hindi ka rin pasok yung motor. Mas makaktibig tayo kasi walang gasolina to. Less maintenance. Tapos mas mabilis ka makapag-respond. Lalo na po dito sa mga itong city, mga parks, mga itong open areas po. Hindi na kayo mahihirapang humuli ng mga criminal sir. Mas mabilis din po itong gamitin kasi po pag nag-respond ako, yung motor mo medyo malayo. Ito, katabi mo palagi, eh. pwede mong gamitin na para mas mabilis, mas madali kang respond. Salamat sir. Salamat sir.
Pag-inom lang natin kung 